going to show you uh, the build of a 49 to 1 because it's exactly the same as the 64 to 1. Um, but as you can see, we've only got 14 turns. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. 14 divided by 2, which is the first two coupling, is 7, 7 times 7, 49. So that's how a 49 to 1 works. And we've got our 100 puff 3 kV capacitor in there just to help with the capacitance at uh, the 10 and 20 megahertz bands. 10 and 20 megahertz? No, 10 and 20 meter bands. Okay, so we'll. Uh, Test that against the 64 to 1 in just a few moments. Now this is the 64 to 1 which I made oh, quite a few years back now. The bolts are all nuts are beginning to rust as you can see. Um, it's a standard 64 to 1 with an earth stake. Okay, so this is uh, using our 64 to 1 um, Transformer un un which I made oh, four years ago now, maybe uh, maybe a little less. Um, this one might have been the one I'm actually made two years ago, but I think it's the one I made four years ago. Um, anyway, either which way, it's the, my standard one uh, which I use on a day-to-day -day basis, along with my DX Commander. Uh, and let me just wind it down to the beginning, if you like. That's, that's good enough, isn't it? Ninety. 90. There we go. 1490. And just take a quick SWR there. I'll put it on the CW. We're using um, 5 10 watts. And our SWR will be red here. Okay. So that's roughly uh, 1.12. Um, yeah, 1.1, 1.2, something like that. And that's at 14.90. So let's just uh, wang it up the band somewhere in the, in the middle, 200. Make sure there's nobody there. Yeah, that will do. And see what it's like there. Okay, slightly higher. That's um, roughly 1.3, 1 point, something like that. And I'm going to wind it up to the uh, top end of the band, 318, something like that. And there, as you can see, it's 1.5. Okay. So, it's slightly long, it favours the lower frequencies. And let's bring it on to 7 megahertz. 40 meter band. Same trick. Let's just uh, see what we're like here. Well, no movement. Okay, so that's uh, 1 to 1. At uh, 7180, let's weighing it down to 700 or thereabouts. Right at the lower end of the band. We'll do it there. Let's see what we are. Again, absolutely no movement. So that's lovely. And let's weigh it to the top of the band. For me at least, which is there. Ooh, let's go down. There we go. Flat as a pancake. Brilliant, so that covers the entire 40 meter band pretty flat. Let's go to 80 meters. Again, we'll put it on CW. We'll get to the bottom of the band, at least for voice. 3600 thereabouts 
and we are quite high we're in three so let's wind it up see where we are going up the band there's 700 or thereabouts okay so it's below 1.5 waving a little bit there's obviously a little bit of wind out there and let's go to the top end of it oh wow okay so it's perfect for the voice band which is what we want okay so let's swap it out and put the other 64 to 1 on okay granted it's not quite as neat as it could be but there we are we have our new 64 to 1 let's put this one with three turns rather than just two all connected up and uh, ready to go so we'll check this out now okay so this is with our three turn uh, coupled 64 to 1 and this is the first time that I'm seeing this myself so let's see so lovely on uh, the top of the band let's go down somewhere in the middle What's the middle? Let's try, let's try 701. So pretty much the same as our previous one. Let's go right down to the bottom. Yep, okay, so pretty much the same. Let's go to our 40 meters. Okay, let's go down. Okay, I suppose the real test is what it's going to be like on 20 meters. 1.5, it just shows the transformers working exactly the same way. 1.5, slightly worse, I think. On 14, 1.5, that's all pretty consistent. Let's stick in the middle of the band. 1.5, so maybe the capacitor is doing that, I don't know. Right, let's change it out for our 49 to 1. Okay, we'll put our 49 to 1 on this time. It's not really necessary to earth them, but I find it does reduce quite considerably the uh, line noise. Anyway, right, next. Okay, I'm not quite sure what to expect here because the antenna has been cut for a 64 to 1, not for a 49 to 1. So anyway, let's have a press of the button and find out. So it's 7 point... Uh, what we are about 7.133 SWR is zero. Let's move it up the band, top of it. Zero. At the bottom of the band. Okay, let's change bands. 14 
mm, megahertz 20 meter band and the SWR is one to one. Let's go to top of that band. to the 10 meter 10 meters and see what it's like there interesting well, it's not bad 80 meters now 80 meters nice and low Go to the top of the 80 meter band. Wow, very interesting. So, which one of these uh, transformers, the 64 to 1 with two turns, or 64 to 1 with three turns, or perhaps even the 49 to 1? Um, so, which is better? Uh, well, Jury's out. Um, certainly get a better range of SWR uh, readings with the the 49 uh, to 1, at least on my setup. Uh, remembering, of course, that I actually cut all of the um, the, the, the NFED half waves radiator for uh, a 64 to 1, um, but putting the 49 on to 1 onto it, um, I didn't need to to readjust anything. It seemed to work just out of the out of the can, if if you like, um, and yeah, it had a better range of SWRs um, from the ten meter band all the way down, as you've seen, to the the eighty meter band. Whether that will translate into um, a better antenna, uh, as far as uh, transmitting and receiving is concerned. Um, I don't know yet. I think I'm going to have to do that in the next video. Uh, but uh, anyway, here's a chart uh, showing the the results. Um, and as you can see, uh, the the <laughs> there's not a lot in it, is there? Let's be honest about it. Um, the 49 to 1 with two cores um, performed uh, a little bit better than the 49 to 1 with a single core. Uh, by core, I mean the the uh, the 43 mix um, toroid uh, that was uh, put into the middle, um, and the 64 have all got two cores. So, uh, mm, yeah, the green areas is uh, obviously where the best SWR is. The um, the white areas are uh, all good. Um, where the, the 64 to 1 lets me down is on the uh, the 10 meter band. Um, yeah, it's in red. It means that, uh, I mean, you can still use the, uh, the an ATU to bring it in. But, you know, the, the 49 to 1 has a better range. Yeah, make, make of this results as you will. Um, both the transformers work well. Um, yeah, jury's out. Have a good day. Thanks very much for watching.